So for the integrator op amp calculations, we are going to notice that uh, actually we do not have a lot of things uh, to consider. This is uh, an integrator op amp. That is how we are going to be given our circuit being uh, like this, whereby we've got uh, the resistance and the input and having the capacitor on the feedback. So the feedback this time, it is in the form of what? It is in the form of a capacitor. So on the uh, integrator op amp, what are they going to ask you? Uh, mostly, as we do understand, guys, it is the output voltage. But this now, it is referred to as the rate of change. This time is referred to as the rate of change of output voltage. As we are to consider, guys, rate of change from our mathematics, whenever we get this rate of change, it means that is it's going to be the units of whatever that is changing per unit time, meaning to say per second. So it's the rate of change of what? The output voltage. So it's going to be measured in volts per seconds. So the units in this case will be in volts per, per second. So do not worry about this. Uh, like I said, we are given uh, these formulas also from our formula sheet. Uh, we are given this formula as V out is equal to minus one over RC, the integral of Vn with respect to T, meaning to say with respect to time. So do not even worry about this, guys. Remember that if you integrate something that you're given, that V there with respect to so it's going to be simply the voltage there. So you're going to obtain minus Vn. In our calculations, just know that these guys will be minus Vn over Crn. That is, okay, you can even have RC in whatever case that you want. So this is measured in volts per second, volts per second. That is your output voltage. So whenever you are to calculate your voltage, you use this formula. But the formula they gave you like this, guys. So do not worry about that. Uh, for your level info, there's nothing to consider there. Just take your formula as it is. You can calculate your output voltage. So there we are given. An integrator op amp has got the following values, the capacitor, R in, V in. Calculate the rate of change of the output vote, the rate of change. So simply the rate of change, as we saw that minus V in over C R in. So just going to substitute minus V in. The input voltage is given as 6 over the capacitance value, which is 12 microfarad, 12 times 10 to the exponent of negative six times the input resistance, which we are given this as 10 kilo ohms. So you're going to multiply to 10 times 10 to the exponent of three, that's 10 kilo ohms. And this was going to give us uh, the output voltage, which is the rate of change, and that's minus 50 volts per second. Like I said, rate of change, volt per second. Considering this other example, this is from hands-on, we are given the following data concerning an integrating operational amplifier was given. Take note, an integrating, that's an integrator. The feedback capacitor, we have got the capacitor. The input resistance, we are given R in. The input voltage, so guys, use this information uh, to determine by calculation the rate of change of the output voltage, then represent the change de uh, determined uh, graphically. So in this case, I want you to see how it was going to be on the rate of change. How can we calculate our rate of change? So you said the rate of change can be calculated as V out is equal to minus V in. So we're going to have uh, minus Vn over C R N like this. And this is being measured in what? In volts per second. Measured in volts per second. So guys, it was simply a substitution to be made. So that's minus Vn, the input voltage, which is minus five over the capacitance value. Our capacitance value, the feedback, is the one that is considered on the capacitor there which is 100 times 10 to the exponent of negative six times the input resistance, which is 10 uh, kilo ohms. And that was going to give us minus five 
uh, volts, that's minus 5 volts per second. As I say that, volt per second, the units, the rate of change supposed to be volts per second, which is the unit per given second. So as you can see, guys, these are the typical questions that you might be given uh, as you are working with an integrator of amp. What you just need is to understand your formulas. And uh, as it is this formula, you are given from your formula sheet. So this one, you're not supposed to worry about this part here. You are given, but know that this integral, this whole part, guys, is just going to be v in over that so do not worry about that presentation of the integral uh in your syllabus actually for this level they do not want you to go further into those integrals uh like what we have in our mathematics but we're supposed to have that we just hope with time we shall have typical questions of that nature so that we do exercise our formulas into a mathematical way so this is what we had guys till we meet again